Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. First of all, sorry about this line in my hair. I was running this morning and I've had my hair tied up in a ponytail all day and I just took it out and now there's just like a very distinct line but we're just going to ignore it. Um, so today's video, um, as you already know because you've read the title, is about how to condense your notes because recently I filmed <coughs> recently I have filmed quite a few videos on um, like school and my ATAR because I graduated from year 12 last year with an ATAR of 99.5 so I've been filming videos about how I got that and basically like study tips and note taking and stuff like that um, so I have been asked a lot of questions about how to condense your notes because one of the biggest things like if you've watched those videos of mine you will know that I am a very 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 big fan of consent condensing your notes I think it's just like the best study technique to like write notes and then just condense and condense and condense them because by doing that it, you're like focusing on the most important parts of the topic and it shows you how the whole topic interrelates and also by condensing and condensing and condensing your notes um, it's like you're going through them so many times that the information is then like in your head um, really really well so yeah basically what I did um, just a brief summary of my note taking style is basically I write notes um, for a topic and then I condense all of the notes for that topic onto one page and then at the end of the year I will have one page summaries for each subject and I will condense all of those one page summaries for each subject onto just one A3 piece of paper so then I just have one A3 piece of paper with all of the content for that ATAR subject and I did that for all of my ATAR subjects in year 11 in actually I didn't do it in year 11 I just did it in year 12 um I did do summaries in year 11, but I didn't do like the whole yearly summary, but I did that in year 12 for all of my subjects. Um, so yeah, those, then I had like fully written out notes for all of the topics, one page summaries for all of the topics, and then a big one page summary for the whole subject for each of my subjects, which were economics, English, maths specialist, maths methods, and chemistry and chemistry my chemistry notes my chemistry notes my economics notes are the best my maths notes are also really good but there's just like not as many notes that you need to write for maths my english notes are also all right but yeah my economics and chemistry are like whoo they are so detailed and that. anyway um oh yeah if you do want to buy i am selling copies of all of those subject notes for year 11 and year 12 and i also did physics in year 11 my physics notes are actually like pretty good i was looking at them the other day and i was like oh my gosh wow I was actually like wrote really good notes to them. Um, so yeah, all of those notes are available to purchase. So just email me tia.chudy17 at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram at tia.chudy. I'd prefer if you like, sorry, this introduction to the video is taking a while. I'll get onto the concising, concising? No. I'll get onto how to concise your note, how to make your notes concise in a second. But yeah, email me at tia.chudy17 at gmail.com is better it's easier for me because i get so many dms at the moment it's really like hard um sometimes i just miss seeing them so it's easy if you email me but you can dm me if you want anyway right let us get on to the topic of this video so yeah i've had a lot of comments asking how i condense my notes and <laughs> i've been putting off filming this video because at first i was like how do i condense my notes though like i don't know i just kind of do it like I, <laughs> people always ask me questions, like, another one I get all the time is, how do I stay so motivated? And I'm like, I don't know, I just kind of am, <laughs> I just kind of do it, you know? How do I always, like, go to running training and put in all that effort? I'm like, well, I don't know, I just go. But that is very unhelpful advice. So I have actually written a list of things um, that I do, that I, I, like, went through all of my notes and went through, like, the condensed one page summaries and I was like oh okay I did this I did that and so I've written a list of things that I did or that you can do um, to help you condense your notes so that's what we're saying in this video sorry the introduction took like five minutes but it's fine okay right <clears throat> so firstly I'm just gonna say like the format of what my one page summaries looked like so I would either do them um, I, you can do them however you want. I would do them in a couple of ways. So one way is a mind map. So I just like write the topic in the center and then just go out from that with a mind map with all the subtopics as like main branches and then like branches off the subtopics. So a mind map is one way. Another way is just like I would do it just like, um, so if I did a mind map, it would normally be like landscape. If I did a portrait, I would normally do like just, I'd have two columns of information. So I'd like split the page in two and just have two columns of information for that topic. I'll put some examples on the screen here. Um, so this is an example of the mind map. 
And this is an example of the columns. And then sometimes I would just do it randomly and just, I don't know, do it like this is an example of a random one. So you can really like structure them however you want, um, but those are just like some of the ways that I structured them. So how do you actually condense your notes and get them all onto one page? Because people are worried that, one big thing that people are worried about when condensing their notes is that they're going to, they can't get all of the information on there, so they're going to have to leave some out and they don't want to leave some out. And then that bit of information that they've left out comes up on the test and they're like, ah, it wasn't in my notes. The thing is that like, don't worry about having absolutely everything on there because you're not going to chuck out your other notes once you've done the one page summary. You still go back and you still go through them as part of your study, but it's just that you have a one page summary where the main points of the topic are. Um, you're not going to like, I would make the one page summary and I'd still go back through my actual written notes a lot, but I would also go through my one page summary. So it's not like once you have the one page summary, you never look at your other notes again. So you forget all the stuff, the extra stuff that's on there. Cause obviously there is going to be extra stuff. There's like lots of extra information on those notes that is probably important for you to like keep reading through and for you to know, but you just put the main things on the one page summary. So don't worry about having absolutely everything on it. Um, so that's one thing especially on the whole subject, the like A3 summaries for your whole subject. Definitely like don't just put like, so for example, for economics, if you had like factors affecting investment, that's like a subtopic of a topic. Um, on the topic one page summary, I'd write each factor and then I would write like the information about it that I had in my full written out notes. But on the yearly like one page A3 summary for all of the topics for all of economics for the whole of year 12 I would just write out the factors and I wouldn't put the extra information that I had for them So I just like literally write them out as dot points So I'd write the factors But I wouldn't write all of the extra information that I have and that extra information is still pretty important So I'd still go through my other notes and read it um, So I didn't forget it but like it didn't go on it because it wasn't like the main the, like super super important I was just like putting the main super imp does that make sense I feel like that oh, guys I'm wearing socks again you if you watch all my videos you know I always start I always <laughs> I'm always wearing the same socks as well um yeah I always start the video wearing socks and then I get hot so I take them off um I don't know if that made sense but basically yeah just don't worry about putting absolutely everything on there just kind of the main points especially for the whole topic um summaries okay second point is use dot points <laughs> I feel like this is obvious, but if you're not, if you're writing full sentences, like don't use dot points. Um, it makes it so much more clear and easier to read. Um, and you should like, yeah, do not be writing in full sentences. Definitely use dot points. Okay. The next one is a really, really, really important one. And there's kind of like two dot points to this, but it's like abbreviating things and shortening things. So the first part of this dot point is to use lots of symbols and diagrams like in the place of words. Obviously you want to like use diagrams um, just generally because you need diagrams, but use also when you're writing out stuff, use symbols in the place of words. For example, a triangle means like changes. So like I'd write like triangle in investment, like or like triangle investment, that would mean changes in investment. Actually, no, I wouldn't write that. I'd write triangle I. That would mean changes in investment. So instead of writing changes in investment, I would just write triangle I. That is so much shorter and I would know exactly what it meant. Another example is like three dots instead of therefore. That's a pretty common one. The percentage sign instead of like writing percentage, use arrow like down for decrease, arrow up for increase, arrow to the right. Um, is like leads to or goes to or whatever. So I would use lots of symbols like that in replacement of words. And then the second part of that dot point is kind of the same thing, but I would use abbreviations for words as well. So for example, I'd write SB instead of strong base. I'd write EP instead of equivalence point. I'd write conch instead of concentration. And some subjects will like, ha you'll have to know all of these, um, like abbreviations for words. For example, in economics, we knew that M was imports and U is unemployment. And it had all of those things like kind of already in the subject. But for chemistry, it didn't really have them. So I would just make them up. Like I just shorten strong base to SB. Um, but yeah, in economics, there's stuff like M is imports, U is unemployment, I slash R is interest rates. Um, so yeah, I would just write those things um, instead of writing the full thing. Because number one, it saves a lot of space. Like if you want to write a 
change in interest rates. Instead of writing change in interest rates, you just write triangle I slash R. It's a lot shorter. If you do that for like most phrases, it becomes a lot, lot shorter. And it's also really good because it forces your brain to be more active when you're reading the one page summary because instead of your brain reading changes in interest rates, it's reading triangle I slash R and then it actually has to convert that to in your mind to changes in interest rates while you're reading it so it forces your brain to be more active when you're studying because it's having to do more thinking to convert um to convert the like symbols or the abbreviations into the words even though you you know like you know when you see a triangle it means changes in but like it's just subconsciously it makes your brain it keeps your brain more active and engaged when you're reading through the notes um so yeah that is a really big thing that's probably the biggest thing that i did um because that like significantly reduces stuff and it's also just good you want to have your notes like really really brief like that the next thing i would say is only use keywords so just chuck out all of the filler words um sometimes you like have to replace them with symbols but i'm trying to think of an example and i can't think of an example but when you're writing, like, just put in the important words. Don't put in all the, like, super superfluous filler words. Just write down the key words. Another thing you can do is, if you're really struggling to put everything onto one page, then put everything onto two A4 pages or put everything onto one A3 page and then condense it onto one A4 page. So condense, like, I don't know, your 10 pages of notes onto an A3 piece of paper, then get that A3 piece of paper and condense it onto one A4 piece of paper. Basically, if you're doing year 11 or 12 ATAR, um, what you should do for each subject and what I think is definitely possible for you to do for each subject is aim to have one A4 page summary for each topic of all of your subjects and then at the end of the year one A3 page summary for each subject. So that's definitely possible. Um, you think there's a lot of content in ATAR. There's really not. When you get to university, you'll find out there's like so, so much more. Like subjects at university will be so, so much more content heavy. So it's definitely possible to get each topic onto an, an A4 piece of paper and each subject onto an A3 piece of paper. So that's, I think, what you should kind of be aiming for. Um, obviously, if you can go smaller in some topics, I could have definitely gone smaller. Um, but like... What, I didn't ever have access to A5 paper, so there wasn't really much point. Um, but yeah, you can go smaller. And like I said, if you're struggling to condense, then condense it onto like more page, onto like two pages, and then condense those two pages onto one page. Um, and by going through the process that many times, that's also really helpful for your studying because it's going to like imprint the information into your brain more. So. Yeah, my next my next pointer is to highlight things and use color. So obviously this is once you've got all the information on the page, but you probably it might like when you first look at it look it will look like really kind of I don't know overwhelming and you don't know really where to start with the information um, and nothing is really standing out because it's all kind of squished onto one page. Some of my one page summaries did like. You don't want them to look that squished. You don't want your one page summaries to look squished. You want them to look just neat and organized and you can tell where everything is. Uh, but either way, whether it looks really squished and daunting or whether it looks quite neat and organized, you still want to use color and you just want to highlight things because that is going to just like kind of just allow you to distinguish between the information more easily to see the super super like important parts and to see like the subtopics where each where the information about each subtopic like starts and ends um it's just a lot easier if you use color and highlighting um but obviously that's not going to help you while you're condensing the information you just want to do that at the end um but it will help you when you come back and you study your one page summary if you've highlighted it the next tip is to write small so i have i just naturally have quite small neat writing so it wasn't um so that's probably one of the things that made it easier for me to be able to condense information because i do have small writing um but yeah don't write super big try and write small because if the size of your writing is bigger then you're going to be able to fit like less information on so yeah just try and write as small as you can don't go basically just don't go out of your way to try and write big like if you can try and write a bit smaller than usual i just wrote the same size as usual um for most of my one page summaries but yeah just try not to write 
really big. <laughs> and the last thing that I want to say is that being concise and being able to condense and condense and condense things really well, um, it is a skill and it does take practice. So the more you do this, the more you practice, you'll get better um, and you'll improve your condensing technique and it'll get easier and easier. And this is why for me now when I was like being asked by you guys like how do I condense things, I'm like I don't know because I just kind of do it because I've had a lot of practice at it now I find it really easy and I find it so much fun this is like the favorite my favorite part of my studying process is when I get to condense everything onto one page I really really enjoy doing it that's probably part of the reason that I did do it was because I found it a lot of fun and it is also really helpful I think um yeah it is for a bunch of reasons I've probably already said them at the start of the video but it's like it's a really good study tech <coughs> my voice is going really weird um, it is a very good study technique. So yeah, those are all of the pointers that I have for um, tips for being able to like condense your notes onto one page. If you do have any like specific questions about any parts of this process or anything, please, please comment them down below and I will try and get your comment and answer it. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, um, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to go subscribe to my... <coughs> I don't know why my voice is going. I feel like I need a drink of water. <sighs> um, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you enjoyed this video. Go check out some of my other videos because I have literally so many videos on my channel. You definitely can't have watched them all. Has Surely, no. I feel like nobody has watched every video on my channel. So go check out some of my other videos. Um, follow me on Instagram as well, at tia.chitty. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's everything I have to say. I have my little speech that I have to say at the end of the video. I think I've covered everything off. So yeah, I really hope this video has helped you. Sorry that it wasn't like, <laughs> the, sorry that I couldn't give you like a magic formula or anything to be able to condense your notes, but that's because there isn't one. It's literally just, I don't know. You just kind of do it. Um, and practice is key. So the more you do it, the better you'll get. Um, but yeah. I hope that some of these tips helped you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I feel like no one gets to this part of the video. Lol.